Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Joey again, I'm with Maria. Hi guys, welcome back. You're watching Vegas D-Tech. And today guys, we got a really good one for you. You know, just the other day, Maria and I were, were uh, at home and we were happened to look at some real estate uh, satellite maps of Arizona. I happened to find uh, a satellite image and it was able to rock back and forth between uh, 1988 and today, right? And I said, you know what? What if we went back to the exact spot where the water was? I'm talking about like right, right where our foot was. And we want to go there. And we want to do with the magic, with the magic of a little bit of editing, right? And some imagination. It's too easy to just say, oh, uh, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, the water line was like right there, right? It's too easy to say that. So I want to be able to show you from where I'm standing, the water transition from here, clear out to what I would have seen back in the high school days, all right? There's an actual uh, uh, brick and mortar uh, restroom and a wash station for your fish. Guys, they wouldn't have made these brick and mortars permanent unless they felt that the water was like right here. And this is exactly... All right, guys, so we're up here at this location right here. Like I said, this, these are brick and mortar outhouses, okay? These outhouses obviously, or bathrooms you would call them, they were here because the, the, they had anticipated that the water was so close that you could just go play in the water and come up here and use the restrooms and come right back down to the water line. Right, so fish cleaning area, and here's the pump area where all the water pumps and so forth will run water from here. They're gonna run it all the way out to the marina out there, okay? Everything that you're looking at, according to the map, the satellite map, everything that you're looking at right here, ground zero, this was all water. All right, everybody. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to bring you to this uh, website that I came across here it was called Go Travel Top. And I just happened to go ahead and scroll over here. And I noticed, you know, you know, the Lake Mead area. And when I came in here, I was like, wow, man, this doesn't look like a this doesn't look like a current map of what Lake Mead looks like today. When I take a look at Google Earth, you know, because it looks like we have a whole bunch of water here. And I noticed that I'm like, wow, this is from a different year because as I click back in a little bit more, look at this. It shows all of the water that's currently there at Lake Mead from where it was. Now was, right? And I was like, man, this is crazy because look, if we take a look currently here at the marina of Lake Mead, you can see where it is. It wasn't there here. And you see these little three little dots, one, two, three. That's Saddle Cove right now right all of this right here in the marina is like right up against it like if the water were to drop very much more they would have to push this thing right up against here and as this thing starts to come out of the water they would have no choice but to try to take this marina and kind of sweep it around because this is the deepest part right here of of the southern shore of lake mead i was like we know one click i can you can see how much water has gone from from this area all the way back to the road here which is three to five hundred feet just like that so I wanted to come out here and uh, first thing we wanted to do is we're going to stop at point number one. Point number one is going to be right here at the launch ramp of Hemingway Harbor. Okay. All right, guys, so we're at location number two. And location number two is directly straight shot up from the marina, okay? The boat harbor is to the left, the marina is to the right, and this is the direct road that takes you right into the marina. Now, the marker for me is going to be this guy right here. It's another one of those brick and mortar bathrooms. And like I said, they would not spend the money, you know, to build this type of a bathroom like this 
if the water wasn't right here and I'm gonna bring you exactly to where the water was and we'll do an impose we'll do that little imposing magic for you okay so let's check this out All right, guys, so we're at another spot. This is gonna be uh, spot number four. Now, the, the interesting thing that I found at spot number four over here is there's this big, humongous, vacant lot that's right here, right? And I've always seen this on television. Now, you guys know how much I like to bring my drones with me. We'll take a look what it says here. So the sign behind me says that this is a model aircraft use area right which is what uh rc aircraft and so forth i would consider that a drone would be the same thing now you know back in the old days back in the 80s they didn't have cameras and stuff like that on the aircraft so you just fly it around and maybe they will allow people to just come out here and fly model aircraft but they don't want model aircraft having a camera so i don't know i'd have to speak with park rangers on that and see if uh, a drone is permitted to be flown from this parking lot area because I tell you what it would be awesome if I was able to bring the bird up and just get it up here you know uh, I think I have a ceiling of 400 feet that I could fly it at and just fly it all up and down this road here to give you a nice vantage point so I'm going to be uh, speaking with park rangers to see if they allow it in this area alone and if they do guys more good stuff to come so on the other side of this street right here on the other side of the street where this dirt road starts right here, this is where the water came all the way up to in 1988. So let's just go ahead and transpose and bring this water level up, cover up all this white here and see what it would have looked like back in that day. next shot we're going to come down to is we're going to come down to the barbecue pits the barbecue pits are right here and i remember in high school right here where this v was we would come down here and park and have all of our barbecue right here because this is where the bathroom's at we'd come in park our cars right in this area okay this stuff wasn't even here because this was all underwater so we would park our cars right in here come over here bathrooms barbecue water right here okay and if you take a look right now you know the water's clear out here like that's like 500 yards but if you come back here you can see how the water was right up on the barbecue pits right up on it bro so we're gonna get down on here this will be our next spot and I'll show you. all right guys so we're over here at the barbecue pit area on boulder beach okay so you got the restrooms back here and you got all of the barbecue pits and the picnic area okay now i remember <coughs> right here in the center right here in the center where these two join i remember in high school in 88 we had both of these tables here and uh, i remember we had like a little teeny party area in the center and we were eating off of this barbecue right here right on this barbecue okay it's still here since 88 i remember we never wanted you know my girlfriend never wanted to go too far away from the restroom so we had the restrooms right here this barbecue pit, Wonder Bread, hot dogs, Gatorade, Snapple. Yeah, and what else? Oh yeah, Bartles and James, Seagram 7 and Bartles and James wine coolers. That was what we loved back in high school. But if we turn this thing around, the water guys literally steps away.
this right here was water. So you would be swimming right here, guys. And like I said, if we look all the way out there, you're looking at three to 500 yards is where the water is right now. And you could closely take a look here and see where that water line was. And you gotta ask yourself, how far back did the water need to be right here where I'm standing for the water level to actually reach all the way up there to those white lines, that, that, that white ring that goes around this lake right here. How far? Well guys, through the magic of, of some simple uh, editing, I'm gonna go ahead and try to bring that water level back up here so you would actually have a view. So let's get back to 1988. Alrighty guys, so here we are at the last spot of today and it's my favorite spot of course. This was the original Boat Harbor Marina and uh, this is the entrance here, okay? So this is Lakeshore Drive that runs along the shore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the, uh, the satellite imagery map that fluctuates back and forth between 88 and 2023 and I'm going to bring you right here to this parking lot and I'll show you exactly what you would have seen okay and you know back in the 80s and 90s and then the last stop is we're going to go to the old uh, las vegas boat marina as you can see how it was see the water was right here now look at all this guys the water was like all in here this was a peninsula this little area right here was like a peninsula and a little island that was all on its own and there was like a little teeny there was like a little teeny road that you could drive across to get to the peninsula this is the pump station for water they had it way out here but if you if you take a look at this look the peninsula is gone i mean once the once the drought came in gone the water boom came the the land just completely came out of the water now the driveway the drive over whatever is showing and the peninsula is completely gone and now it's just a regular attachment to this island and this is Lakeshore Drive. And where we're going to go is we're going to go right in here. We're going to pull right in. We're going to go right along the highway. We're going to pull right in. And I'm going to show you right here where the marina is. Okay. So right here, guys, is going to be where the uh, bathrooms are. Here's the parking lot. Everybody parked their cars and everything right in here. And the water for the marina came right up to here. Check it out. Boom. We're going to show. We're going to go ahead Get right in here and show you what it looks like to have water come right in here all the way out to this cove. Now, I don't know if you can see anything from here, but the water is all the way. It's about, it's a good, God, I want to say a good mile and a half, maybe two miles if you were to walk it from where we are right now, all the way right between the pass right here. You, can, you should be able to see right between the pass. That's where the water is at. The marina was right here. All right, so we're coming up upon the berm, the original berm. I'm gonna call it the 1988 berm. This is about as far as you would wanna bring your vehicles because water would have started right here. From right here on up, guys. All of this, you would be looking at marinas, boats, slips, docks, and everything all through here. This would be all water. Okay, and evidence of that is you can see anytime anybody wants to show you the dark rocks, the dark rocks up here means water was never up in that area. The light rocks right along here, this is where the water sloped off, man. So right here is where it started and it moved and it moved. And you can just see how the horizon just stays perfectly level, man. Right? Perfectly level. You could completely see here. All the way around. This whole walkway right here. This is where the water went all the way up through here. The only things that were available to be seen back in the 80s and 90s was the pump house, which I took you on up there, where it's dark, that little hoop, that little hump. You're gonna see in the map, 
the satellite imagery map will just show you just a little piece of hoop right here and then it'll show you the beginning peaks of this up here but everything else here guys all underwater and it ran from all the way out there all the way to right there guys let's transition over Alright guys, so we have a little teeny marker I want to put up. I found this uh, this like a fishing rod with like this confederate flag flapping around out here on the ground. I went ahead and I stuck it in the water right here, right where the water is at right now, okay? And I stuck it down in there a good two feet, so little wavy confederate flag. We'll come back out here in like say a week, we'll see where it's at. And the main thing too, I'm gonna to show you right out front here. You, you could see where the water is, okay? You see where the water is lapping in right now. And you see how this is getting damp? The reason why it's getting damp as opposed to being dry is because the water is leaching underground. This lake water, as it comes in, it's leaching from underground and it's coming in. So the ground, the groundwater is gonna also be coming up from underneath here as the shore water meets it. So it's a, it's a combination of the two. It's going to keep bringing in the water. But the main thing is, man, I want her to come over here. This is going to be real key. This, uh, this kind of boat anchor or dock anchor that you can see right here, this is not that far away, guys. Okay? So this is going to be very, very interesting for us to see. We're inside the channel here, guys. Okay? We're going to have this situation right here. This ain't moving nowhere, but it's really close to the water right now, guys. So from here to there, we're looking at about, mm, I'd say about 50 feet. Yeah, about 50 feet from here to the water line. I got the old uh, Dukes of Hazard Confederate flag situation out there in the water on the fishing pole, about a foot and a half deep into the water. And uh, we're gonna come back here in a week or so when we do our next week's water report. And we're going to see just how much water came in in one week. Well, I guess that's it. Did you uh, find anything useful out here, different since the last time that we've been together? Oh, yeah. Just so amazing to learn that the water level has been gone so far since 1988. And if we're just starting right here, we'll be drowning already compared to me. Basically would be underwater. Is what underwater. You're saying. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Well, I guess that's all we got for you today, man. We want to say thank you again for coming out with us to uh, Lake Mead. We wanted to do that little turn back in time uh, from 1988, 1990, and kind of show you what it looks like around here and uh, do a little bit of magic. I'm not a videographer, editor, or anything like that, but I thought with the you know, with a little bit of magic and some imagination, we would try to put together a little something something for you, and we just hope that you guys enjoyed it. So guys, that's it, that's all. If you guys found any of this information beneficial, useful, or even uh, educational in any way, uh, if you guys could do us a kindness and just hit the thumbs up, like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos like this so that YouTube would know to send these videos over to your home screen. So that's all I got to say. Maria, anything else for you? Oh, of course. Uh, oh, thank you once again for joining us, and I hope to see you guys. Stay tuned for our next video. Our next video. You guys be well. We'll catch you guys again. Thanks now.